Okay, well, I suppose the um, concept came from uh, the initial idea of, well, first off, I wanted to get rid of as much of the supernatural as possible. So that was it, kind of driving force within the concept. So I wanted to have it about drugs and alcohol and set it at night. And so then the bar type thing came around. And then we started kind of batting around ideas for bars and we started looking at things like uh, the Workman's Club and the Bison Bar, places that take a particular theme. And then they kind of, they base all their stock and all that kind of thing around that thing. Yeah, it's all to do with kind of city life and the kind of urbanity of it all. Like, a lot of places now are abandoned and, um, you know, there's like a former life there. And so when we talk about the play, we talk about all the kind of blood that's shed and a yeah. lot of the kind of, um, the history of place and, you know, the subtext that kind of goes on in, in a, in a was there before so we even when we were rehearsing our ideas that was kind of like uh, maybe this is set in kind of like a somewhere else that blood was shed a lot before like uh, like a slaughterhouse or yeah, abattoir, abattoir or, or, thing, yeah. so that kind of informs a lot of the decisions that are made and even though that it's bar this bar this hangout spot this social spot where even in normal bars and clubs a lot of drama happens so that kind of goes hand in hand as well and um, and it's at the night which yeah. is great which is the hope with a lot of the players mm. and uh, so that informed a lot of decisions, and then so the aesthetic then is a lot of um, bar paraphernalia, yeah, which you see. There, like no, no natural, it, every, yeah. nothing's natural, it's all Everything's metals, fabricated. plastics, yeah. fabricated stuff. Iron, yeah. sheet metal, there's not, there's nothing natural really, mm. except maybe a pool cue, <laughs> which you couldn't get away with.